All right, so here's the leak that if you care about standard magic or anything in regards to ranked magic play, you've probably seen. Now, there's been a lot of claims that this is fake. Some people saying that it's not real. Some people saying it's totally real because of the daily deals on the page has uh, Reckoner Bankbuster and Fable the Mirror Breaker on sale, which is kind of convincing to me. But looking at this, if Wizards does take this approach and bans, what is this, eight cards right off the bat for their first banning, I think that they're doing this completely wrong. And they're banning the wrong cards again. Now, while I will admit there's a 100% chance I'm pretty sure Fable the Mirror Breaker is going to be banned. Do I believe that is the right card to ban? No, I do not at all. And the reason why is because Fable the Mirror Breaker is only a catalyst for certain other cards. The card itself makes specific other winning cards much better than they really are. To show an example of Fable of the Mirror Breaker just being a catalyst, let's take a look back at the new Kefiana Championship. This is before Shieldred or any other cards came out, and the deck that ran wild with this tournament was the Hinata the Dawn Crown deck. If you remember this deck, it was a huge combo deck, which it had Fable the Mirror Breaker in. Now, when this was played, it also had really big heavy hitters like Goldspan Dragon, Hinata, Expressive Iteration, there's a few others in here too, like Magma Opus, that people were calling for ban, but nobody cared about Fable the Mirror Breaker at all. And it's because what Fable the Mirror Breaker does is it makes other cards that much better. Now I know what you're saying. That's the perfect target to ban, because we want to impact the most cards at once. However, this doesn't really impact a ton of decks currently in Standard. It's just the one deck and Rakdos that is impacted. If you ban only Fable the Mirror Breaker, that just takes Rakdos from being the most played deck, hi, my cat wants to get in here, to a slightly worse version of itself, when really there are some other cards that you should take into consideration. And this is why Rakdos is so good. So these are the cards that I would take into account for banning, and the reason why I would say these are the big three in Fable is one of the ones that I would consider, but not 100%. All right, so this is a look at only the Mythic decks that are Rakdos that are playing these. And if we look, you can see a very big variation. So at the top, we have the win percentages when the card is available to be played at any point in the game. As you can see, the two cards that really have an impact with this are Shieldred and Invoke Despair. It is a little bit close between Invoke Despair and Fable of the Mirror Breaker, but those cards amplify and make everything so much worse when it comes to Shieldred. Shieldred is a standalone card that when you play these other two cards around it, that's when you start to see those wins. That's why you have a higher available win rate. But if we look on the opposite end of the spectrum, the kept win rate at the bottom is if the card is kept in the opening hand, Fable the Mirror Breaker wins 57% of the time, which is just showing that this is a supplemental card. Fable the Mirror Breaker isn't the big heavy hitter, it's the card that will help you get to your win condition. And that's why I feel like Fable shouldn't be the main target, it should be Shieldred of the Apocalypse. I understand that they can't really ban this card <laughs> right now because it's the most expensive. It's a huge creature. Everybody plays it. But if you do ban Shieldred, this takes care of a lot of the issues that people have. Rakdos isn't as big anymore. Rakdos still would have heavy hitters like Invoke Despair and Fable the Mirror Breaker. But this also takes into account the Esper side of things. So Rakdos isn't as bad anymore. The Esper Legends gets a little bit worse because Rafine is such a powerhouse that when you pair Rafine and Shieldred together, you are drawing cards, you're getting such an advantage with building your creatures, and then on top of that, any other Esper deck that runs black in it is going to take a little bit of an impact, and then you also still have a very popular mono black control deck that doesn't just stomp over every aggro deck. Now, would I love to see more of these cards get banned? Absolutely. I feel like Wandering Emperor is a very, very powerful card right now. But there are other cards like White Sun Zenith 
for farewell or things like that. Big board wipes that just give such an advantage also. Uh, the other thing is Reckoner Bank Buster might also be one of those cards just again because it is in every deck. I feel like there's no deck that you can play right now that doesn't benefit from a Reckoner Bank Buster. But that's where Wizards is messing up. Wizards has decided to go to the standard metagame that is going to be only banned once a year, which in my opinion is going to ruin Magic with one ban a year besides the emergency bans and things like that. But that's where you really run into this issue. If they're only going to be banning these cards once a year, this is going to be a proving ground over and over for the same decks. All right, so that's my take on it. Who knows? Maybe we'll wake up and in seven days, this will be the reality. And hopefully this will fix standard. But my thought process is it's not really going to fix standard and we're just going to see more of the same. But all I do want to say is if you did watch the video and you did like it and you want more content like it, go ahead and give me a like, a follow, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And uh, don't forget, you're doing everything right today and you matter. Good. Bye.